Detroit businessman Robert Carmack has now been charged with four felonies. He's the man, you'll recall, who hired a private investigator to tail Mayor Duggan and then had a mobile video board driving around City Hall showing that video. Defender Kevin Dietz spoke with Carmack today, uh, but he's not in custody yet, correct, Kevin? No, he's not. He's going to turn himself in tomorrow. Bob Carmack's war with the city has certainly escalated to criminal charges that, if convicted, could land him in prison for up to 20 years. Carmack says this is all retaliation for him embarrassing the mayor, but police and prosecutors, they say it's plain and simple. Carmack broke the law. Businessman Bob Carmack getting some bad news, told to turn himself into police as criminal warrants are issued for fraud. So we've just learned that uh, there's been four felony warrants signed for your arrest. Can you tell us about that? I can't comment at this time. Uh, you have to talk to my attorney. Does it surprise you that this happened just after you rented the Jumbotron and embarrassed the mayor? I tell you, my attorney told me not to talk. He told me to say no comment at this period of time. Carmack was the talk of the town after accusing Mayor Mike Duggan of having an affair and showing the video at City Hall. The next week, the mayor held a press conference saying Carmack was extorting him and the city to try and settle property lawsuits, including this plot of land on Melville Street in Detroit that Carmack sold last year for a million bucks. Carmack took the old draft documents from back in 2007 and used them to fraudulently misrepresent that he did own the property. The city of Detroit's law department became aware of the apparently fraudulent sale, and so the law department filed its lawsuit against Carmack on June 1, 2018. Carmack says the city stole property from him and then sent the deed to Melville to him as a consolation. He went to several public meetings trying to clear up the property dispute. Now he's charged with three uttering and publishing felonies and another for obtaining money under false pretenses. So here's how it's going to work. Bob Carmack is going to turn himself in at a detention center early in the morning and be processed. Then he'll be arraigned here at 36 District Court via video. He is hoping for a bond that he can make because he would like to get out as quickly as possible to start defending these charges. Kevin Dietz, Defenders. A, a little confusion here, Kevin, because this all happened in the city of Detroit. We're hearing from the mayor of Detroit, and yet the criminal warrants are coming out of Genesee County. Yeah, so Detroit police investigated and they took uh, their case to the Wayne County prosecutor, but Kim Worthy recused herself because of a conflict. So she then referred it up to Genesee. They reviewed the case, took it to a judge, and they were able to get these warrants. So a prosecutor yeah. from Flint will come down here and actually handle the case. Interesting turn of events here today. All right, Kevin.